two additional turrets. And it looks like we're going to see some sort of five-man Dota. Uh, and for those that don't know, this just basically means a lot of grouping up, using your advantage, and sieging. So they're going to use uh, they're going to use Rumble here to zone. And then uh, if they kind of get too out, if they too clump up too much, they'll use Equalizer to kind of zone them off the turret. Meanwhile, they'll follow up with Caitlyn and Blood Boil Caitlyn to go ahead and just poke that turret. So they can siege up. Byline's pushing a little bit. Top lane will eventually be pushing. This is just a really good spot for them. What they have to worry about is kind of a real hard engage, a real hard surprise engage, and that's something that can come from the red team. We've got Lissandra, who's got a pretty strong engage, but the problem is she's, like, her engage is, is televised, or, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yes? It's telestrated, because what will happen, she wants to go in, but she can't really do it, because it's, you know, it's what they really need is kind of like a J4 engage, where they're kind of clumped up, and I don't know if they're going to be able to get to that back line. On top of that, they're going to be dealing with, uh, you know, they have the counter engage that is Janna. Yeah, and that push away is going to be able to protect that back line long enough for Aphromir to be able to lay down enough damage to cancel out anything else that was going to happen. Rise, on the other hand, is a complete and total runaway freight train of a monster at this point. Um, this is this is this is a this is a really grim situation coming up for Red Team. Defending champion Zix really is going to have to pull it together to pull this one out. And there here goes the engage. They almost got Afro move Afro moved down about ten hit points. They're gonna trade a lot of players here. Afro move almost will go down, but it's not gonna be worth it. <laughs> a four for one. And I think they're gonna come away with this mid turret. And that's that moment right there where they dedicate so much onto a prime target, uh, but the distance at which they have to do it leaves their backline completely vulnerable. Yeah, they might even come. They should come away here with a turret inhibitor in the mid lane. I don't know if they're going to stick around for the inhibitor. We do have Lee Sin, who is still up. Zyra is also up. And Lissandro, of course, would kind of compose that team of like, hey, you know what? If you guys want to stick around and overextend. Um, but it looks like, you know, they're dealing with all sorts of problems right now uh, with the mid lane, or sorry, the top lane pushing. They've got a negative hitter on the mid lane. You know, not, not, I mean, and what I like to see here is Satsalo. He does have that Oracles, and I think that's something that we started to see in that last match where Tekken had that early game Oracles, and they were able to vie for Vision uh, and compete for Vision and actually win that Vision. Yeah, and Vision is what this game comes down to. It's, it's the amount of information that you have to really be able to make the the calls that are going to make the big plays. Uh, when you're sitting there blind, you really have to like face check bushes. You're just going to get caught out so many times. You're not going to be able to make those plays, make those catches. That could be the thing that turn you around from a real far behind kind of situation. Um, right now, though, that Satsalo, I like the way he's constructed his team. I don't think it's just Team Afro Move right now. We're looking at you know he's only three, two, and three. Does have a little bit of the CS lead by 20 CS, but I mean, it's not like last game where he was like 18 and three. And all right three now lanes, just... <laughs> all three lanes were 100 CS up. No, it's not like that at all. This is a much better game. It's a much closer game. Uh, this is, I mean, this is we're talking high tier play here from both sides. I think what they want to do is they want to get Ezreal caught up. He's he's definitely far behind. Uh, doesn't he's working on that gauntlet? Uh, doesn't you, quite you, have the damage. You want to get Ezreal caught up? Stop building in blue right now. The moment you fi fall behind, stop building blue. Yeah, I, I think at some point you just have to commit, <laughs> even if you are behind. <laughs> but you can't commit to a losing strategy. It's futility at that point. Even being able to build um, uh, cheaper damage items. You're, you, oh, you here's an engage. One, two, three, alts go down. Fourth all from Zyra. They're going to pop up Hysteria. He's the only one they can cop, but that Rumble is going to catch one. Almost two. Hysteria will go down, but I think this is going to be another bad trade. Tekken, goodbye, bro. And Afro Moo wasn't even there for that fight. <laughs> Four for one, and uh, I think this is going to be an inhib. And I think uh, they've got 20 seconds on death timers. I don't. They're not going to have the minions to actually take a Nexus turret. But they're going to take this inhib, which means they'll probably back out. And then, again, with that Oracle vision control, they're probably going to be set up and setting up for a Baron. Um, well, they got the freedom for it now. The other team just coming up 
as we speak. They can go back and spin this gold advantage, or they could go press any other lane that they so fit. Uh, another problem right now with uh, being behind without the deeps necessary, clearing out super minions and the like becomes more difficult. Uh, and now any kind of response that's going to be met here at Baron could, it could in turn be incredibly dangerous for your base. Yeah, it looks like a... <laughs> there was some potential there. Uh, <laughs> we're about to see some... Uh-oh. I don't think he's got Cataclysm to follow up, and uh, Upper Moon would definitely be safe. I'm also looking at the Summoner spells. He's also... Uh, his Flash will be coming out soon. He's also got Barrier. Uh, yep. Able to play that distance, avoid those Zyra moves, and, uh, you know, sit there with a pretty little hat. And now you do the Baron Dance. And if they can keep the Baron Dance going long enough for the Super Minions to push back in the base, Red is not going to have any point, or any other option, but to go back and deal with the Minions. Yeah, I think at this point they're saying, hey, you can't come this way, right? Look at all these traps that are down. Um, they actually want them to <laughs> don't want to fight. Zig says, hey, you know what? <laughs> Worst case scenario... If we do have to run, at least uh, let's make sure we have a clean path. But so I'm just going to try and get this mid lane pushing, but they can't really deal with the Superman. Oh, Sotslo actually got caught here. Ooh. This could be the Baron throw. <laughs> Too <laughs> close to the wall. Just getting, just able to just just reach over and touch something. That was not the game he wanted to play. And uh, you know what? That's a small win. That's something that they want. Um... You know, for me, I would I would somewhat consider Baron, or not sorry, not Baron, but possibly Dragon, because it's it's easy gold. But the most important objective would be this mid lane turret. It's out of health health. It's five four right now. Well, I guess Jana's already back up. The life of a level ten support. <laughs> Death timers. Yeah. But if I'm saying I'm saying, hey, look, I gotta get some sort of map control, and you know, the easiest way to do that's gonna take this mid turret, mid turret. But I don't think they can get it. Uh, let's see, you know, the, the wave clear right now is too strong. They're well, probably gonna... Rumble alone could hold this wave clear just with that flame split spitter at this point. And here we go, we're restarting the dance. Operation Refresh the Dance. This time going to get a ward over the wall super early. Well, Tekken actually kind of far, uh, probably realizing there's not any wards left. So he's got to go back for, to base for wards. Hopefully they don't have vision of him backing, but right now the Royal Team is split. Woo! Woo! And Royalty and Ruthless not liking that situation. That that tornado a little scary, a little too close. Yeah, definitely, you know, an aggressive play here. I, I mean, their ward's clear, so I mean... Here we go. I think we're finally going to see this engage. J4 is too far away. They can't really outsmite Nunu um, unless this consume is down. Uh, and how would this is going to do a lot of zoning here. Oh, excellent! Rumble all equalizer going to take all the entire the entire red team down to half health. Ruthless is going to zone yes, but if we're going to get pop. Everyone is going to pick up one kill. J4 going to go ahead and kill Rumble. Going to shut down bonus, but we're now seeing a two for one. And possibly uh, another... Oh, Afromu's going to walk right into this. But uh, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be enough. Cause He'll, be Afromu, He'll be fine. He'll be fine. It's quite a bit of lifesteal. I.e. Fan Dance. Oh, sorry. He's probably running lifesteal points. <laughs> yeah. Plus Blood so Boil. So finally going to see... Finally going to see Baron go down now. There's only two members of the enemy team up. Afromu is not going to have a problem with this. Yeah, as well, oh, finally... Wait. Oh. Well, they... <laughs> and that's that moment, uh, like, th with the possibility of plays that can come out of Elise Sin, the worst fear on the map is usually <clears throat> a tornado coming up from underneath you and just stopping you dead in your tracks. It's flying up. Couldn't see it. So they're going to go ahead and take this top turret. Uh, they'll probably roll back through, pick up Red Buff, and also a Dragon. They're going to have a massive goal lead. Uh, they're already over 10k. Similar to what we saw probably into the, the first game where we just hopped in. Uh, and you know what? I I think if I'm Team Zik, 
There's not much I can do at this point. Um, regaining vision. I, I just think that we're not going to see Team Sotsolo deviate. They're not going to split up. They're not going to give up opportunities for them to get caught. Although, as I'm saying this, Rumble trying to solo a dragon. <laughs> oh, he's doing just fine as long as he faces the dragon with that flame spitter. They have no vision on him. He's there. He's pretty safe. Uh, any kind of reaction to him right now would just be Lissandra, and he can get away from that. So Luthor's going to go ahead and get blue buffs. Still not quite 16. Definitely could use uh, experience. I think that's that's the biggest, you know, not just this massive goldie, but, you know, we can see that rise level 17. Uh, Rumble is going to be 16 here soon. Oh, there's the clock coming up. Lissandra not taking the leap across. Probably a great move as the rest of the team move down there to retaliate to that endeavor. Uh, those moments when you're Lee Sin and you just want to go in with that, the kick after you land. After well, you, you know the rule the of solo queue is uh, the rule of solo queue is you have to go in. That's the rule? <laughs> That's the rule. I wish I would have known. But this is not solo queue. This is judgment. And right now... Uh, that mid lane inhibitor is going to go down. They're going to rotate up top. It's going to have the biggest creep wave, although if, if they wanted to, they could also take that last outer turret in the bot lane. I think they're going to... They got the minions down problem. there to do that. Right now, it's just about getting this top lane, a second inhibitor, and just really, really kind of showing that this game is over. Yeah, they The don't. equalizer already back up. That equalizer is always up. Any engagement right now would be brutal, and here it is. Well, they might get after move, maybe. No, they won't. <laughs> oh, having after move on your team is kind of like saying, uh, it's like having Teemo, really. Um. Global taunt. <laughs> there's the surrenders. 4 0. Gonna chase yeah. royalty onto the base. And there's the explosion. Game two, of round two of Judgment. We'll be following Team Satsalo into the final game. Yes, yes. we will. And thank you, everybody, for joining us at this exact moment. We'll be back in just a second. It looks like Team Apollo.